Berlin artist has dedicated her career to paintings of the Soviet era and its aftermath. She is from Kharkiv, the city that's bore the brunt of Russia's attacks. Yeah, and now she's hoping that her paintbrush will bring some hope and help to the people of Ukraine. Fox 12's Kendra Kent reports. When we spoke with this Portland artist, she hadn't been getting much sleep. She hasn't been really taking the time to eat. Instead, she's really been channeling all of her efforts to help the people of Ukraine during this horrific and heartbreaking time. And she's using her passion of art to make a difference. For decades now, this Portland artist has called the United States home. But Ukraine is both her past and the very central part of her being. And that's where her heart is now. And this is a friend of my, mine. Her name is Zhenya. We grew up going to the same little village and bathed by the river and goofed around in the fields. Her part of town is under the heaviest bombardment right now. And they do not have a shelter nearby. So they're holed up in the interior parts of their buildings. Tatiana Austin Inkinka says she could share so many stories of the suffering and the uncertainty that her Ukrainian friends face as they grapple with a terrifying war. But instead, she's laser focused on helping. How have you been coping? How by being a workaholic and by selling every single piece of art that I have uh, in my studio and donating 100% of the proceeds to humanitarian aid efforts in Ukraine. Dozens of paintings sold in just a few days. Tatiana has already raised more than $27,000 for the Global Giving Fund. I'm so grateful that I have something to donate because I don't have money in the bank on the scale to be able to donate, and I don't have the kinds of skills that would be really useful on the ground. And when you look at her most intimate work, Tatiana's creative muse is clear. I don't choose my subject matter, it chose me. I left Ukraine 25 years ago, but it all came with me. I don't, it's always at my back. She grew up in Ukraine during the Soviet Union era and also after it collapsed. Then she came to the U.S. as a young adult to go to college, but she only first started painting years later. Her work, a medium of the suffering and chaos that Eastern Europe has long endured. The generational trauma of my people is profound, and that is my source of inspiration, I guess, for the lack of a better word. It's not an inspiration, it's an urgency, it's a compulsion. And her latest purpose, as urgent and heartbreaking as ever. They're just people, children, I mean, they're bombing kindergartens and orphanages. Her hope that others will feel inspired to join her, using their dollars to make a real difference. They get art that for the rest of their life will remind them that they were not just sitting around right. when the part of the world was in flames. And there is still more artwork for sale that will benefit people who are suffering in Ukraine. If you would like to donate, if you'd like to buy a piece of her artwork, we are going to have a link online with all of that information. And you're going to be able to find that at kptv.com. Reporting tonight, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.